Do you swear the testimony about to give will be true to your best ability, so be that? Yes. Please have a seat in the witness chair. Mr. Anderson. Can you please state your first and last name and spell your names correctly? Elena Hernandez, A L I N A H E R N A N D E Z. Elena, where do you live? Stillwater. And how long have you lived there? Eight years. And do you work currently? No. What do you, do you, what did you do prior for it? Um, I owned a salon and spa business for about 20 years. Now you're a stay-at-home mom? Yeah. Um, who was in your family, immediate family? Um, my husband, Donnie Hernandez. Um, Alexis. She's 27. Jacob is 21. And Isaac was 17. So um, I want to ask you a little bit about Isaac. What did, what did Isaac like to do for fun? What kind of hobbies did they have? Um, Isaac had a lot of hobbies. He um, he loved. He loved his family and traveling. We like we love to travel, and he um, he had his own business, and he I uh, had recently started, and he detailed boats and cars. He worked down at the marinas and detailed boats. He started a mobile detailing business. And he loved to golf. I lived on the golf course, and he golfed almost every day. Um, he loved boating, fishing. What his friends, that? his girlfriend. And when Isaac was killed, he was the senior, before senior year of high school? Yes. Did he have plans for after high school? Yes. He... Well, he was an honor roll student, and he loved school, and he, he was going to go to school for engineering. He was hoping Madison. Yes, ma'am. Well, and I'm showing you what's marked as Exhibit 1. It's three photos. Can you just go through them? Or actually, first, what are, can you just tell me what their photos are? My son Isaac was his junior picture. And then his 17th birthday, his last birthday. And then this one is um, the day he got, he bought a trailer for his mobile detailing business. And he texted me and said, Mom, come out and see my new trailer. And the dog and I ran out and he uses for his business. Any objection? What was the number? One is received. morning of July 30th before he left. Did you know he was going to go tubing with friends? Yes. <clears throat> um, how did you know that? 
Well, he originally told me in the morning that he was going to go golfing and with his friend, but his friend had to work. He ended up having to work, so they were going to golf later that evening. And so I was out on the deck having coffee with my sister-in-law, and he came out and said, some of the guys are going tubing on the river, and I think I'm going to do that until... I, we can go golfing. And I said, okay. And the way I said okay wasn't like, I was super excited about it. And I he, and he's like, why? And I said, well, I was gonna ask you to pick dad up from the airport, dad got a flight home. And he said, I can pick dad up. And I said, no, just go have fun with your friends on the river. <laughs> Um, did you know who Isaac was going with? Two with? Yeah. He said they were meeting up at the high school and that Alex was driving. And I said, okay, don't forget your sunscreen. And I grabbed it and... I put sunscreen on his ears. And... At some point, did you learn what happened? Yes. So then my sister-in-law and I went down and they had lunch downtown Stillwater. And then my husband had taken an Uber home from the airport and he was going to meet us down there. And we were waiting for him. And I got a call from Owen's phone. And I thought... Um, maybe Isaac's phone went dead or he lost it or something and so he was calling me from Owen's phone but Owen called screaming that Isaac had been stabbed and he gave me the pin drop of where to get to and my husband was just pulling up and I ran out of the restaurant and hopped in his car and we got there in, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. What happened when you got there? Well, we followed the ambulances and I just went running and I I ran up into one of the ambulances thinking that it was Isaac sitting up in there and I started crawling into the ambulance and I realized it wasn't Isaac, it was one of the other kids. And so then I climbed out and then I looked and I saw, I saw Isaac's hair laying on the river bank. I knew it was him. And they were trying to perform CPR on him. Did you go to Isaac? Yeah, I ran to Isaac. And when you got to Isaac, um, was it clear he was already deceased? Yes. I don't have any other questions, Judge. Mr. Shroffelson? I have no questions for Mr. Davis. Thank you. Let me step down. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, who is the next witness? 